my name is Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. There we go. I'm just getting organized and I was going to work on my next project, my request. I got a little head start before the weekend last week. I'm just going to work on the next step with you. I feel like a hot mess today. Okay. Okay. Where am I at? Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. I have been asked to work on a shadow box. And I'm going to... Got the shadow box picked out at Hobby Lobby. $16.99. They were on sale last week, so we got them 50% off. And this is the one she picked out. For some reason, I was under the impression that I was going to have to take the top part out and then tape the back side to paint it white. Well, that tells you how often I work with shadow boxes. Got the back side out. I did a coat of Dixie Belle Boss because the back side's going to be white and it was this color. And I don't want to risk um, it bleeding through when I go to seal it. So I've already got a coat on there. I'm going to go ahead and paint and get it ready for the next step. Um, I think you guys, I think I shared the design for this where it's going to be the mini head and a bow and then it's going to be Liliana um, at the bottom. So we're going to paint this all white. We got the pink bows picked out. We got these off of Amazon. Melanie found them and I can't remember the price but I was thinking they're about $6. They've got little stems on the back. I can easily cut them off because it's going to be, we're going to need these to be flat. So that will be the shape of Minnie's head. And then we picked out, I went to Hobby Lobby and went to the um, cardstock paper. I can't, I can't think. And was looking for gold glitter and I sent Melanie pictures. And this is the one she picked out. She wanted really sparkly. This one was for $1.99. It was not on sale. I probably could have waited till this week, I don't know, and seen if it was. I'm trying to think if I looked last week and it wasn't on sale either. I don't know if that's, there's, there's certain things at Hobby Lobby that never go on sale. I don't know if that's an occasional sale or what. So I'm gonna do cotton. I'm gonna do the Dixie Bells Extremely White. I haven't opened this jar in a while, so this will be interesting. So did you see I went live on my actual page? I haven't done that in a long time. For some reason, going live over there makes me more nervous than going live here. I kind of like this group because it's kind of nice and small. So all I'm doing is just painting the background. And I'll probably end up doing two coats because I'll do thin coats. Let me get this out of the way because I'll be super messy. splatter any paint around because that's just what I do. Got any questions let me know. Um, this weekend my husband and I are going to Chicago to visit family. Really excited about that. I got my blog post for Sunday already written. I got my video that goes with it done and it uploaded within 20 minutes. I was thrilled, but of course the video is only like seven minutes. So I've got that ready to go. I've already got Monday special for next week all figured out and ready to go. We'll just have to wait for the email Sunday if um, when that goes live. And I got a paint boogie. So just going to wipe that off and I'll just lightly brush over it. And I'll have to clean my jar. So I'm going to stop painting out of the jar. Jar lid. Ooh, I got you on me and not the, what I'm doing. There we go. 
So I'm going side to side because this is the direction that the sign will be. It'll be this way and not this way. So that's why I'm going in this direction. And the paint I'm using right now is Dixie Bell's Cotton. I've had it for a little while. It seems a little bit thick, so before I probably shut it for good, I'll probably add a little bit of water and shake it up. Because I've only been in this, I think, once before, so it shouldn't be like that, but sometimes it happens. There we go. Hey Shannon, how are you doing? I'm in my zone. Once I get done here, I've got a few designs I've got to work on because I've got some requests I've got to get moving on. So I'll be working on that. And then I'm all caught up with my blog post. I'm going to start working on some designs for the library. The library and my Etsy store. Um, the pillowcases my daughter and I made Sunday have turned out pretty well. There was a couple spots I had to go back and re-glue. Um, that E6000, I like it, but it comes out really super thin, and um, I think we're, we need to be a little bit more liberal with applying the glue. A little more generous. Okay, so there's one coat. I'll let that dry. I'll do a second coat, and um, probably tomorrow I'll come back on here and we'll go ahead and work on lettering it. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because um, I do have the outline for Minnie on my design with uh, Lily's name. And Lily's going to be painted in black. I have the outline for Minnie here so I can follow it with the roses or with the flowers. And the, the mixed media material I'm using shows up white but it'll dry clear. I always got to read these real quick, so I'm not sure which one is which. I think it's downstairs. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Because I was thinking about painting Minnie a pink, the base. That way, I don't know. I guess I'll figure this out. Got any suggestions, let me know. Because basically, I, I, need, I need the outline of Minnie. So I know where to apply these at after it all dries. So I'm trying to think if I should just do, just do the outline or if I should just paint the whole silhouette. So that's something I'll have to noodle. If you got any ideas, let me know. Um, if you got any questions on there, I'll pop back in and answer them because I'm having trouble seeing. So you guys have a great day and I'll pop in tomorrow and we'll try and do the lettering and hopefully I've got this figured out and how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Okay, I think I'm on. My name is Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. I am working on um, Liliana's shadow box. I think I had it figured out and then I started um, working things together and I, I had to change plans again. Um, I've got the stencil laid out. I always cut a border so that way I get my um, signs centered correctly and for some reason I forgot that this time or well actually I know what happened. Um, I had to redo the design because I'd misspelled her name. She has two ends and not one and I had um, my program shut down on me and it didn't save it so I had to go back and redo it again. So um, I think that's what happened. It didn't get saved. So when I did it, I just didn't even think to check it. Well, I went through, I went ahead and cut it 
and then I realized I didn't have my border. So I had to kind of make my own square. I actually cut up the side because the liana is uh, farther out and close to the edge than the, than the mouse ears. So I had to um, cut up, and then I turned the stencil over so that way I could cut along the grid to make a straight, straighter line. So that's how I did it. And then I went ahead and cut this across because I thought I was going to have to do these separately, and I wanted to go ahead and pull the stencil for Liliana without messing up this one because I was thinking about adding my matte gel over minis over mini over the mouse and then pull it up and then put my rosettes on there but I was as I was laying them out to kind of check them out it looks like there might be some gapping so I'm going to go ahead and paint this pink and I'm gonna seal it and then I'm gonna add the matte gel and do the rosettes I think if I mess up and have to start completely over, I'll just have to cut a piece of plywood this shape and start over. You know, it's just paint. So, and thankfully Melanie is a very patient woman. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm painting, painting the mouse. And, it kind of, and the color kind of matches awfully close to the bows. And those bows we found on Amazon as a packet of 144 and I've already primed this the stencil with the Mod Podge instead of using the cotton that I painted the background with I just felt like gluing it down so I know you've seen this before but I'm sitting here trying to noodle I thought I had it figured out when I realized oh no this isn't going to quite work right So then I'll let that dry and then we're going to use this cardstock I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, it costs $1.99. We're going to use that for, for the bow for on top of these and I'll use this collage medium. Um, it's really, really sturdy medium to uh, secure everything. It's just going to be kind of interesting to see how it's going to come together. So, that's what I'm working on this hour. So, I don't know if you guys saw, but we went to Chicago this past weekend and came back the long way Monday. For you, those of you that take vacations and are gone for a week, I don't know how you do it. I was exhausted. And then I came back and it felt like I had two weeks worth of laundry to do. And I think it was yesterday I finally started on the bedding and getting that bedding washed again. Because even though the fur babies aren't supposed to be on the bed, sometimes we catch them up there. Well, I shouldn't say they're not supposed to be up there. Jazz sleeps with us. Okay. So this will be interesting. Oh, shoot. I got paint on me. So I went and got groceries this morning, ran to Goodwill. I got a neat picture frame. I only, I actually bought it for the frame. The lady at the was checking me out and said, oh, that's a pretty picture. And I just kind of kept my mouth shut because I'm not planning on keeping it that way. I got some plans for it. And it's the frame that I've got the plans for. But then I went to Hobby Lobby because I knew, last week they said that their Christmas and, um, Oh, shoot. The Christmas and fall stuff are on sale 50%. I don't know why when I go there and if I see somebody that I know, I feel guilty. But I stocked up on ribbon. Now that I've done the refab bow, I am hooked. So, and the regular ribbon was also on sale. So I got some 4th of July stuff. I'm getting ahead of the game here. I love this. So I asked earlier, if you guys know of a way to store this stuff besides in tubs, let me know. I am uh, between this and those picks. 
I've got a new collection of or hobby collection going here. So I need to figure out how I'm going to store this. <clears throat> so this is my first day back up in the craft room. Let me see. That black's not dry yet. I have a heat gun, but I just don't like using it unless I have to. So that is my game plan with this. I'll probably, I got a little streak here, so I'm going to have to wait and let that dry. I'll do another coat. I'll let this all dry before I take the stencil up. I'm going to put a coat of sealer on there. And then um, probably tonight or tomorrow I'll hop back on. And you can watch me fumble through these and see if I can get these on right. Keep your fingers crossed. I don't have to start all over. So, so one step closer. You guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I can't think of anything else. You guys have a great day. All right, I'm getting set up. I'm gonna go ahead and push play because I'll find an excuse to put this off. I'm nervous. Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs and I'm gonna work on Lily's um, rosettes, adding them to her shadow box. So bear with me just a second. I decided to go ahead and cut another mouse head. So that way it kind of guides me with the um, where I'm putting my compound that I use to attach. It's it's a matte gel. It's a medium gel that I bought from Hobby Lobby, and I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay, this I use. It's twenty four ninety nine. This I buy when um with my forty percent off coupon. So that way it makes it a little bit cheaper. Hey, I'm on I'm on Facebook. Probably wondering what the heck. This is Meryl's last day of vacation too. If I was thinking ahead of this, I would have just used my sheet of stencil that I cut yesterday because I had enough left over and I accidentally threw it away. So let's see. Hey Deb, you should be napping. Glad you're here though. I'm pretty sure I saved the design. Because I always do. Well, that needs to go in there. I keep everything organized. So whenever I have somebody who orders something from me, they get their own folder. And then each project they use gets their own folder. So I've got quite a few from Miss Melanie. Let me see here. Can you see that okay? Looks like a black screen, I'm sorry. Oh, come on. So I just want the, the, the little, talk, can't talk. I just want the head. But I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm using the open offset panel that's off to the right of Silhouette. I'm gonna do an internal offset. And if you guys want, if you, if you don't know how and you wanna know how, just let me know. And I can do a little video. And upload it for you. Okay, let me see. Yeah, that's all I want. I just want a little bit smaller mouse head. So I'm just going to cut that. That'll take maybe about a minute. Okay, hang on a second. Be right back.
guys saw, I went live last night and painted pumpkins or tried to. It's funny, I came back and looked at them. They look like orange acorns. But I will take it. It was my first time painting them, so. Kind of cute, I thought. And I also got um, this primed. I am making a chalkboard I don't know if you can tell, a chalkboard sign from the top part of my dresser. The mirror wasn't that good and the veneer was kind of bad, so I kind of had to work with that. I put some slick stick on from Dixie Bell. That's to help uh, paint adhere to slick areas. I've used that to uh, prime those wood metal signs from Hobby Lobby, those letters, and um, makes the paint stick really well. I don't know if you can see that okay. That is also the rest of the the attachment for on top of my desk that I'm working on. So I've been trying to get this over a year. And I'm excited I'm at least halfway done, I think. <clears throat> okay, see if I can see this. Just cutting another mini head so that way in case I get a little sloppy I have something that will guide me with the um, applying that compound. And the compound dries, it takes almost a day for it to completely dry. So I have this as scraps. I usually save this for another project. Okay. So I basically put a good coat of sealer on that because I figured once I had the rosettes on, I wouldn't be able to seal it again. And I use transfer tape, clear transfer tape, as my Clear contact paper is my transfer tape. And I still haven't found my favorite squeegee. Once I rearranged, I lost it and I still haven't seen it since that one time. And I thought I'd put it someplace safe. Now I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. And I'm using the pink I have painted as my guide. So I'm hoping this works out. I've got one of these little spatulas that I'm going to use to spread that on. And that's kind of what it looks like. Kind of like a thick glue. I'm just going to smear it on. And I want somewhat of a thick coat so that when I put the rosettes down They'll bind into it. And it's supposed to dry clear. And so far I haven't had an issue, so. I feel like I'm icing a cake.
Okay. I'm going to take the stencil off and hope I'm thinking about this the right way. Yeah, so I got a little pink around the edges. I, I think I want that. So that's why I, I did the mini, the second mini, a little bit smaller. And if I change my mind, I can always use one of the rosettes and just kind of push it around a little bit. Okay, I'm shaking. And I actually might need to add more compound hay on a second. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that. So I'm just going to go along the outline. And apply these rosettes. And then let them dry. I've used this compound also before on the the metal letters. Um, I had somebody request one for their wedding so people could use it as a sign in. And we did flowers. So I'm just going to follow that path and just go around and just kind of work it in and try to make it look pretty. Miss Lily turned this week. I'm surprised Melanie didn't want that, but want this by then. But she didn't say anything about that. I think this will be Lily's third, third sign like this. We did a growth chart with this theme. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. That pushing that away. There we go. Growth chart and we did the four little sayings, you are my sunshine with the mouse and bows on it. Now that turned out really cute. wild I guess I'll just have to wipe some of it back and I also wanted to do a coat of sealer on it beforehand because I didn't know if the compound would pull some of the paint up that way the paint's a little bit protected in case I the paint shows through a little bit Got this great big packet of rosettes from Amazon. It was about just under five dollars, I think. Hey, Lori. I almost chickened out.
Okay, I got a little bit of the compound up here on the pedal, pe pedals. I can't talk. Um, that should be okay. Because it's supposed to dry clear. Well, I've used them on blue pedals before and it did. So I'm just wiping the extra off. Should I just stand here for 24 hours and just hold it like that? It's actually sticking pretty good. there that's almost done so that's the idea what do you think Lori, this is what I used on your um, wedding sign with the ribbon to, to go on the back. It's a matte gel I got from Hobby Lobby. It's almost $25 and I, I use my 40% coupon. It works really well. They do have smaller sizes of it. This is my first time buying this one. This is my second jar though. I use a smaller jar first. So I'm just gonna go through an outliner and just fill it in. So I'll uh, snap a picture when I get done and um, let you guys see it. I'll have to keep repositioning because these two keep wanting to, to go over their side. So I'll have to keep checking on it today to make sure they're not laying again. So I kind of like that. Um, you guys got any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a great weekend. I hope you'll join MPD Tribe. MPD Tribe members receive access to my free library, which includes cutting files for your silhouette and Cricut crafting fun, I also offer mock-ups and stock photos, plus video tutorials. MPD Tribe members also receive access to the Monday Dollar Deals and 25% off to my two Etsy stores, Midwest Market Studio and Piper's Paw Print Designs. If you have any questions, please contact me at info at melissapetersondesigns.com. To sign up, go to melissapetersondesigns.com. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.